Y'all gonna judge me for not having my toes done in the pandemic? Why would you put... Listen, I didn't think it was gonna have instructions like this. I thought I was gonna be a pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I look dumb. Hello, guys. It is 9 p.m. It is Wednesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> um, I technically shouldn't be vlogging today because I vlog Wednesday to Tuesday, but whatever. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I got home like an hour ago and I was just braiding my hair up because um, I blew my hair out on the weekend and I haven't been able to do anything fucking with it and I essentially sweated out my roots the same day that I blew my hair out. And so like, <laughs> it's been looking a fucking mess and this morning it looked even worse. So I was just like, I just need to braid my hair back down and I'm gonna put a head tie on and we're gonna roll with it, so. I'm gonna heat up some dinner. I made some soup last night, so I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers. Sometimes I really wonder to myself, does my boyfriend live in the same house as me? It's so dark in this cabinet. But like, does my boyfriend live in the same house as me because when he puts dishes away, I'm like, did you ever see that dish in that spot for you to put it there? Did, why would you put... Boom! I'm so excited. I really wanted to do like a... Like a post-quarantine glow, glow up and I was gonna go get an eyebrow wax, go get a coochie wax. Um, go get my toes done, stuff like that. But I really thought about it because I was like, mm, I don't feel safe getting a pedicure. And I was like, but you feel safe getting an eyebrow wax, getting your coochie wax. Like, so I don't know that I want to do that. I just don't feel like it's safe, bro. Like, I just really don't feel safe doing any of that stuff. They're not necessities. I'm not going nowhere. I would just kind of be doing it for myself. And to be honest, it's not one of those things that like, I need to do for myself right now. Like, the eyebrow wax, perhaps, um, because that would make me feel better about myself right now because my eyebrows are driving me crazy, but that's just like, that's someone up in your face, bro. Like, there's no social distancing with that. I'm gonna think about it, but I really don't feel safe doing that. That's probably gonna have to wait like another month or something because even though we're out of quarantine we're not out of quarantine but anyway let's open up this these bundles i ordered this hair from i think it's from ally grace yeah from ally grace hair and yes i will be doing a month review on him as usual card lashes these lashes are a little ugly <laughs> They look like this. There was one hair brand that actually sent me some cute ass lashes. Hold on. Our microwave is one of those that doesn't stop if you don't pay attention to it. Okay. But there was one company that actually sent me like cute ass lashes. I don't think this. That was just a one off. These are not bad. I might put them on one time, but they're not the best. So I basically just got... Hold on. This look like a, this look like a closure. There better be a frontal. I got a frontal in 18 inches and then I got three bundles of, these are all supposed to be straight. Um, 22, 24, and 22. And I'm just gonna make a wig with it. Um, I don't like making my own wig just because I don't like doing all the work, but you have to admit that when you make your own wig, like it just fits your head better. Hold on, turn this light off. 
Hello guys. Oh. Hello guys. It is Wednesday and there's a very special delivery today. Let me make sure my address is on the back. My couch got delivered in three huge ass boxes. So this is my couch. This is very interesting. I've never ordered a couch online like this, so I've never gotten a couch delivered like this, but yeah, so we're gonna assemble it. So first, I just cleared the living room space, so I'm gonna vacuum it real quick, and then I'm gonna have my boyfriend drag the boxes over here, and then we're gonna put it together and see how it goes. So yeah, let's vacuum first. Listen, I didn't think it was gonna have instructions like this. I thought I was gonna be a pop, pop, pop. A pop, 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 you, you know? A pop, 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 quick, quick. Quick. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, God. Okay, I definitely wanted to film this for you guys because you guys have been with me on this whole building, moving journey. But I'm exhausted, it's 9 o'clock at night, I've had the longest fucking day ever. I don't wanna build this shit by myself and my boyfriend doesn't be, like be on camera. So, um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna go get him and we're gonna build this shit together. I'm gonna see y'all in a bit, bye. All right. Ta-da! This is the couch, it looks so Good. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Before we put the um, pillows in, I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the pillows. We, I was definitely having a little freak out because look how low it looks without that pillow in the middle. I was definitely like, oh my god, it's so fucking low. Blah, 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 blah. It's so low. I'm fucking returning it. We have to buy risers, but... Yeah, and it's so comfy. It's like like a velvet. It's so comfy. And it's so big. I'm so happy. All right. And now we have all that trash <laughs> to take out, which I don't know when that's going to get taken out because it's not going to get taken out tonight. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna go to bed. I had full intentions of going to bed early tonight because like I've said like three times already, I'm fucking exhausted. But yeah. I'm gonna go to take a shower and go to bed and I will see you guys. I don't know. Tomorrow. Maybe Friday. Because I'm not doing anything special tomorrow, so I'll see y'all later. It's real beautiful though. That's for sure. She's super beautiful. Good morning. Why are you doing this? I still don't remember which flight switches are which. Good morning guys. It is currently 8.30 a.m. Why did I put this here? I need to wash this. Um, I am getting ready to go to the gym. The gym? I'm so excited. Um, the gym finally opened. Well, the gym that I go to. Y'all been looking at my neck. <laughs> the gym. Fine. Ooh, okay, hold on while I make this drink because this cupboard is dark as hell. All right, so yeah, the gym back opened back up. I just joined the one since there's one that was open right next to my apartment and I've been waiting for that one to open back up since it's right next to my apartment. It only makes sense that I go to that one because I could walk to it in the mornings 
and that'll be really easy and it'll make like literally everything will be easy for me because for instance when I was going to the gym in the mornings before it added 30 minutes to everything in the morning so I literally had to wake up at 4 in the morning to go to the gym because of 30 minute total drive time so excuse me it's very early but yeah I'm very excited I'm drinking my oxy shred I have no idea if this works yet I haven't been taking it consistently you don't have to take it only on training days it's supposed to literally just um speed up your metabolism it's like a fat a thermogenic fat burner or something but I still literally have not taken it consistently I, I think I took it I'm literally all over the place I think I took it consistently for like one week and then it was just like uh, every couple of days and stuff so I have no idea if it works or not um but it tastes good I really like that about that I feel like every health thing tastes disgusting especially fruit stuff like pre-workout and stuff tastes like someone who doesn't know what fruit tastes like and chemicals um but this literally tastes like mango juice so <music> face okay I beat this phase I beat this phase I beat this phase right here I did that I really did that okay I'm real loud about loving myself and I suggest y'all do the same I don't know why but this morning I really woke up feeling myself probably because I lost some weight but yeah <laughs> Anyway, I'm ready. I look good. This dress is probably from Ross. I'm wearing my headscarf. I'm wearing some earrings. And I'm about to go grocery shopping. I was supposed to hang out with Taylor, but we're going shopping at 3 now. So I'm going to go grocery shopping now and then come back and clean the apartment. Hopefully do a little clean. I'm probably not going to get it all finished, but yeah. That's that. I don't know what shoes I'm going to put on. I'm probably going to put some sandals on, even though my toes aren't there. But that ain't nobody business. Also, there's a virus. There's a pandemic. Y'all going to judge me for not having my toes done in a pandemic? A pandemic? <laughs> Alright, y'all. part the part that I've been dreading the whole time the part that has not been clean I'm back <laughs> the part that has not clean been clean the entire time that we have lived here we moved in on what the 26th is June 20th we've been in here for damn near a month and all this shit has been on here for an entire month except the syrup that's just gone here today this shit has not moved Stuff keeps getting added to it. And I have to clean everything today. Okay. Let's do this. It's 
four o'clock. I just finished making my wig. There she is. She's so pretty. I still need to like cut the lace and everything. But I'm starving, so I'm heating over. Some, I'm heating up some leftovers from last night. I can't even hold the camera that high because I did upper body today. Plus, my upper body hurts from making the way and like the way I was sitting and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat some food and take a break before I try and get some um, internship work done. And I have to meal prep. I should probably meal prep first because I always leave it to the last minute. And then I make some janky ass food because I'm lazy. Ooh, ooh, dirty. Ugh. And I need to call my dad because it's Father's Day. But I think they're working at the restaurant today, so I'm not. Ooh, there's a hot ass bowl. So I'm not sure. I tried calling them earlier, but they're probably busy. It's hot. <sighs> but yeah, that's literally all I've been up to this morning. Oh, and not only do I have to meal prep my lunch, I have to meal prep my breakfast because basically what 24 hours doing, I think I told you this, they, you have to do reservations for the gym. Like, so you can only work out for an hour and then they kick you out so they can clean for 30 minutes. So obviously there's only certain times you can be in the gym. And so they have five o'clock in the morning, they have five o'clock or 6.30. I have to leave the house by 8.30 to go to work. So it's either I wake up super early for no reason to go to the gym at 5 o'clock and then I have all this time. Or I go at 6.30 and it makes my schedule a little rush. So I'm going to do 6.30 because 5 o'clock is just way too early. It just gives me way too much free time in the mornings. And it would be fine if I wasn't working as long days as I am now. Like, because then whatever. I get home at 5 or 3 and like whatever. But like... I get home at 8 now, so it just wouldn't work. So I'm going to meal prep my protein pancakes and have them in the fridge so I can just heat them up and eat them in the car if I need be, if I need to or just eat them at work or whatever. But, yeah. Oh, that's it. Just a little Sunday update. I made four lunches. I literally just made some jasmine rice, which I made a fourth a cup of jasmine rice, which is half a cup cooked, some shrimp, some broccoli, and then I prepped three days worth of breakfast, which is just protein pancakes. Um, some of them might be a little fucked up because I didn't realize the battery in my scale was going bad. So some of them might be a little bit big, but if they're like, big i'll just stop eating them once i'm full i don't finish them on a right i don't always finish them anyway so it's totally fine but yeah now i'm just gonna go i'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen and load the dishwasher and then i'm gonna go install my wig y'all i could i think i am <laughs> about to cry right now because I think that I didn't pull the lace forward far enough on my wig, so it's too small. It's not coming down all the way in the back, and it's like barely coming forward on my forehead, so not only did I waste four hours putting the wig together, but I'm going to have to waste another hour <laughs> taking it all apart and another four hours putting it together, and... I'm literally so upset right now. <laughs> oh my god, like, how many ways have I made to make a mistake like that? Like, how many ways have I made to make a mistake like that? And I think it's because I was already frustrated because I was struggling to get the, the frontal centered on the wig cap. <laughs> And I can't even start over tonight because the beauty pie is already closed. Because <laughs> everything closes out early because of the pandemic. I'm so upset right now. Like, <laughs> oh. well, okay. Now I have to go take this whole wig apart. 
Um, yeah. That's how my Sunday's going. My whole day has been literally wasted. And now you guys know I'm also a cry. I cry for everything. So, fun fact about Aaron. I'm gonna go take this wig apart and try not to act like my whole day is ruined. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. I have the frontal in and I have the whole 24 inch bundle in. I said I wasn't gonna stop till I got that whole thing in and I spaced out the um, 24 inch bundle in because when I made this wig the first time around, I did what I did the last time I made a wig where I like stacked the tracks like right on top of each other. You can kind of see it here. They're like stacked right on top of each other and I was kind of really fighting to um, make the bundles not fit, but how do I say it? Like the bundles, I was running out of tracks by the time I got to the top. So this time I spaced them out in the back so that at the top they'll, you know, I'll be hopefully having leftover bundles at the top. But now I'm not showing on my face because I look terrible, but now. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll finish it tomorrow because I have to go to work tomorrow, so yeah. <laughs> and my neck and my back is so stiff, so I'm gonna ask my boyfriend to rub it for me because it's I can't even turn my head to the right and I can't even lift my right arm. It's so stiff, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Moment of truth. The wig has been remade. I've literally... <laughs> I only have anxiety because I had to remake a whole wig. I doubt it's gonna happen again, but we shall see. Yeah. This one's actually a little snug. She needs a band. I mean, not snug, a little big. She needs a band, but we're done. She's big. Big as hell. But it's done. I think it's because the lace was like, the lace front is literally long as hell. I think I made this one so big because I was literally terrified of making it small again. I pulled that lace front like to the front, okay? I pulled it forward. But she's pretty. Um, I did the method that I did last time when I was my phone with, where I literally stack the, what's it called, the tracks right on top of one another. So I ran out of bundles, I ran out of track. So I have some tracks, like some little curly tracks that I straighten, like three short ones in the middle of my head. So if I ever get this wig wet, they'll expose themselves. Otherwise, she's Gucci. Literally, it's a little too big. It's so annoying. I'm sure when I like cut the ear tabs and stuff, put a band, she'll be better. But that's literally just for me being scared of it being too small again. <sighs> the wig is so big. I hate it. All right. Good night, y'all.